Ugh. Well, hello. Well, the place is a mess. I have a giant box behind me. That is because something came in. Hi guys, sorry the fact that there wasn't a coffee time with Kobe this Friday. I do apologize. Uh, I did upload, well, I scheduled a uh, World of Tanks video. I know you guys want to see more of the Coffee Times of Cobra, so I'm doing it now, and I will do another one Friday, so you're getting two this week. Um, so, where do I begin? Um, I've been ill, mostly because of stress. Um, stress and the seasonal change, because it, it's getting colder here in the UK. Um, and no, it's not global warming. <laughs> Shut up, Greta Thunberg. Go back to school. How dare you? I should be in school. Well, fuck off to school then. It's that simple. Shut your pie hole. Fuck off back to school. Uh, so where do I begin? Um, mm. The biscuit of choice is a ginger snap. Help with the stomach. But um... I'm actually pretty fine with my schooling now. Um, I'm at the halfway point, modules wise, which is amazing. Um, I'm still trying to find a network, a comp TA networking plus on Allison. For some reason, it's just not there. So I may have to go elsewhere and actually pay for that course, which kind of sucks. But that is what it is. So I'm kind of doing this on a budget. Um, phone update my old Galaxy A12, this little bastard, as you can see. Um, it started acting up on me, namely it was getting slower and slower and slower and no matter how many times I backed up all of my data, wiped the phone and reinstalled and everything else, it just kept getting slower and slower and slower. I'll figure out what it is, I know it's probably just a software issue or a memory or a log file issue, I'll clean that up, but this is now my backup phone. My new phone is here. Ta-da! I know it's smaller, but girthier. Anyway, um, long story short, changed over to a new phone. It is a Samsung phone, that's all I'm going to tell you. I'm not going to say the make or model. But it is a Samsung model and it is a vastly, vast upgrade uh, 5G. As well, my old phone was 4G. So, yeah, I'm finally up to date with current technology. So, my cyber security course is going good. I had my first job offer. Um, unfortunately, it was for a company that's, they're based in London, but, well, they've got an office in London, but they're actually based in Shanghai, China. And um, they wanted me to move to China. Um, and so that's a no. Um, mostly because uh, that's on the wrong side of the world that I want to move to. I want to move to the other side of the world, if you know what I mean. Um, so it was nice that they, they were willing to offer me, you know, that, but it's a shame I have to turn it down. I mean, it's CCP China, so no thank you, because you guys know how I feel about censorship and stuff. What else? Um, oh, cosplay news. My blaster came in. Let me turn my green screen off. I keep forgetting to turn the green screen off for one second. Edit filters. Oop, there we go. My cosplay blaster came in. Um, don't worry, I'm going to be completely repainting it. Um, what I will be doing, though, is pick, taking a picture of the um, signet for, for Boba Fett. That's House Fett. That's his signet. Um, and so just for... References, I'll be taking some reference pictures. I'll also be puttying over the screws and stuff, um, sanding down certain details that shouldn't be uh, on the model, or on the blaster anyway. Um, and I've taken a look at some screen ac screen grab accurate, um, some screen grab accurate uh, pictures of the actual prop, that's actual blaster. And so I will be customizing this a little bit, 3D print in a few greeblies, um, and turning this into my own custom EE3. Um, I'm also working on a an actual pistol to go with this. Um, so yeah, uh, so here we go, guys. We've actually got 
the second biggest part of the costume. The helmet is, is still in primer. I'm still working out where I want to put the Maui uh, uh, shark uh, motifs. As you guys know, I'm going with a Carcaridon themed uh, 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 thing. So lots of shark things, fins, teeth, things like that. On the, especially on one side of the helmet, I'm going to do like this great big Maui shark kind of thing on the uh, left side of the helmet. There's going to be a huge like Maui shark theme on that side of the helmet, um, as well on the left side of the armor as well. Um, the the left arm is going to be full uh, full armor. I'm going to make it like a prosthetic arm, like a cybernetic arm. Um, again, it's it's I'm basing this entire this entire cosplay on my actual uh, uh, um, bounty hunter from Star Wars Galactic, uh, Star Wars Galaxies, old school Star Wars Galaxies. So Sony Entertainment Online. Um, they had the server rights to Star Wars Galactic, Star Wars Galaxies, and I had droid engineers, genetic engineers, uh, medics, commanders, you name it. I had an Imperial Commando. I had an I had a bounty hunter, but the one class I absolutely loved playing was my droid engineer. Um, mostly because I used to do the trick where I would have all of my level ninety guys. Uh, my own characters multi-logged in because you could multi-log in on the same client and befriend their level 90 droids to my droid engineer because they were level 60 to them but the moment they befriended the droid engineer they bumped up to level 90 so i was in a full team of level 90s by myself so i could literally just send the droids in with one attack command they would pick a target swarm it like a, 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 a swarm of hornets it was freaking gorgeous i i could drop level 90 gold bosses just just battle droids and i'm a droid engineer i have no combat skills i don't have like a, a, a power shot no 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 target you know no not half speed nor does other debuffs and whatnot had none of that i even took my droid engineer into pvp and killed El legendary elder jedis and they were screaming i was uh uh um I was either hacking, cheating, or I wasn't a droid engineer. I was either a, a, a respect, which means you started off as a as a droid engineer, got to level 9, and you respect into a different class. That was the old trick to level up your characters really quick. And I was like, nope, you can plot my character profile, which he did. Respects, zero. Droid engineer. I'm a droid engineer, dude. You just got your ass kicked because all of my level 90 droids... I custom built by myself, maxed out their stats all to do specific things, i.e. and my dancer friend over here gave me some few extra buffs like heal on hit, things of that nature, and that's how I beat you. You attacked me. You should have attacked my droids. And because you didn't attack my droids and I out-tanked your damage, you lost. So anyway... Got the EE3 and it's the correct size. I When I bought this for the price I paid for it on Amazon, I thought it was going to be the child's one. It's not. It's the full-size adult one. This is the full-size adult EE3 carbine. It's the correct length. I measured it. Um, the one thing I don't like is it's it's a righty. Um, my character in Star Wars Galaxies was a lefty. He's Barstool's in his left hand. Um, he was a lefty uh, because I'm left-handed, but I'm right-eye dominant. So being a soldier, it was awkward to fire a rifle, but I was good. 73% accuracy MOA. 100 meters yeah i was good enough to almost be a marksman uh, 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 eight, i think it's 81 or 82 percent in the british army you're considered de a designated marksman for your squad i was 73 right eye dominant left hand dominant which means i'm aim i'm having to aim like this and control my trigger pressure see trigger pressure don't you don't pull a trigger like this like they do in the movies because you're going to jerk your gun you put it yep, like this tip of your finger and depending on where you curl your finger, depends on how far in or off your shot's going to be. You should know this by now. If you're an American, you should know how to shoot a rifle. If you're, if you're British, you should know how to shoot a well, British veteran. You should know how to shoot, shoot a rifle. And like this. Rest your cheek. Comfortable. Now, you could. Now people used to say my elbow was out too far. I can't help it. I've got long arms. So even if you bring your arm in, like they're doing special forces... Bring your arm in. Downside is your rifle's higher. Your rifle will hit higher recoil at full auto, which is why they always put it in single shot. Top, 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 top
ta 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 See? They always put it in single drop. Plus, uh, I've got to fix these mold lines. There's mold lines on the rifle. So anyway, but and it's quite light, actually, so it's good for cosplay. Because um, if, if I've got the full steel one, I'll be like, Jesus Christ, this thing's lugging around a proper proper L85. Um, but, you know, and now it's not bent. It's just the way the camera's set. See, it's not bent. See. It's not bent at all. See. So, but there we go, guys. I have my... Uh, my Enfield, my Enfield. I have my EE3, my EE3 carbine. So I've got that. Um, new phone, new car, and cosplay stuff. Uh, what else? Uh, oh, a hard drive. One of the hard drives in my painting machine, painting PC, just stopped working. I've got to figure out why. It's probably just a loose connector, but I'll figure it out. And that way, I can re save all the uh, like a hundred plus hours of art con uh, uh, videos I've saved. Mm. New coffee cup too. Got this from Aldi's. It's like one pound fifty. Not bad. No, I'm not retiring, Big White. Um, what else? Um, new medication. Uh, for my PTSD and my ADHD. Also, my depression has been diagnosed as smiling depression, which is on a depression scale of 1 to 5 is a 4. Um, so, yeah, that's not... That's not good. <laughs> uh, if you don't know what, what smiling depression is, smiling depression is a form of depression where I give off this aura that I'm always happy that I'm always happy, I'm always put on, on this facade, this smile, this fake, this da 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 But when I'm alone uh, with my intrusive thoughts or just alone in general and I've got a chance to breathe um, because I'm too tired of putting up a facade of making everyone else happy, um, that's when my depression kicks in and hits me hard. And um, Sadly, it claimed the life of Robin Williams. Uh, that was the depression he suffered from, his uh, smiling depression. Um... It's also claimed the life of several other celebrities. Uh, it's a very powerful uh, depression. It's a form of depression that you should not ignore. Um, if you do happen to suffer from smiling depression, please get professional help. I am currently um, getting professional help. Uh, there's nothing wrong with getting professional help solving a problem that you have. Uh, and I mean that. There is absolutely no problem. I'm going to be getting a haircut here uh, later on today, uh, so this will all be gone. I'm going for an old school shaved head, uh, because I just want to. Um, what else? Oh, I found a really old copy of Civ 3. Oh, this takes me back. I remember finding modding tools from my first copy of Civ 3 and I modified all the starting nations to be Star Wars so you had the Rebels, the Empire, you had the, the uh, uh, Kaminoans, you had the Kashyyyk, you had the, the Wookiees from Kashyyyk, you had the, the Gamorans, you had, oh, it was awesome, it was friggin awesome, it, it was like a complete overhaul, music, everything, you had da 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 da, oh, it was beautiful, I can loved it, can't wait. Uh, I, I even bought a USB powered DVD drive so that I can install these and they are there, the keys are there so can't wait for that, that's going to be awesome. I also um, got me a copy of Star Wars, uh, I bought a bunch of, I bought a, a Star Wars key uh, on the last stream and I've been downloading and playing like X-Wing X versus TIE Fighter and all, all the classic proper really cherry single player games mostly because I'm I just don't want to play online PvP games anymore. Um they've all lost they've all I've burnt out on them. Guys, that's the truth. I've burnt out on them. But it's not because I, I suck at PvP. Uh, I mean I, I, I admit that I do. I play World of Tanks still. Um I haven't recorded any World of Tanks footage for almost jeez two weeks. Um again because I got burnt out on doing the on track constantly so um i know there's the new mirror uh, uh 
uh, event. I haven't even played that yet, um, so I really don't care right now. Uh, I'll play it. I will play it when I go live next. Uh, sadly, uh, um, Rokio, my Ponagotchi, she finally bit the bullet. Uh, and there was an issue with the config file, so I'm in the process of trying to figure out what happened to her to get her back up and running. Um, I also have been working on a little portable-ish Game Boy style little plaything. I mean, this is a color color screen with uh, six buttons, so it'll do a Super Nintendo, it'll do a regular Nintendo, it'll do uh, a Mega Drive, it'll do um, Master System, and it's, I'm going to be designing a little portable um, emulator machine based on a pi uh, i know you can get pi emulators and stuff that's what i want is i want a multi emulator in one device um with a good i would say uh, basically i want to make a retro um steam deck that's pretty much it i want to make a retro steam deck based on the pi um so i know it's especially pi w so it's wireless so if I need to, I can, you know, hook up, update ROM files, things of that nature. That's the goal. Um, and no, I don't want to put it in a kit. I want to make a prototype. And if you guys are interested in it, I will make you prototypes one at a time. Uh, or one-offs one at a time. Custom shells that I'm designing. I'm having a friend help design in, in, in CAD and stuff. So I can just zip them out on the 3D printer. And, um, yeah. So I've got that planned. Um, Death Guard Army is doing pretty good. Um, I will be doing a painting stream uh, either later on today or tomorrow. So I look forward to that. That'll be fun with an update on there. Uh, I'll also be uh, uh, scuffing and prepping the uh, e um, the EE3 blaster uh, for, for basically just party over the... Um, screw holes and a few other things and whatnot um and uh just general get rid of mold lines you know by by using modeling putty to get rid of the mold lines things of that nature um maybe even look at ways of making it a little bit more rigid because it because it's so light it's easily bendable if that makes sense not that i'm, I'm purposely trying to hulk bend it you know but um, I just want to try and stiffen it up a little bit. Not add a little bit of weight to it, just make it a little bit more rigid. Um, weird way. rigid. But you get what I'm saying. Um, what else am I doing? Uh, got my new airbrush holder sorted out. Um, oh, moving. A um, couple of weeks ago, well, now about a week ago, uh, during my live stream, I mentioned that I'll be moving soon, and that is still the goal. That is still the goal. However, um, the person I've been talking to about moving into a two-bedroom not far from here turned out to be a scam. Uh, I don't know why people do that. Um, I mean, literally, you can go into Facebook Marketplace. You know, I'm not even joking. You go to Facebook Marketplace. This is what I'm doing right this second. Yeah. And you can go to marketplace obviously go to property rentals and you will see the same property someone trying to rent the same property like six or seven different times and they're all different people they're just scams they are just flat out scams And then I saw this place again, but unfortunately it's a one bedroom. So one bedroom apartment, and it's actually in the heart of town. It's actually in the center of town. So the only thing that's big about it is the kitchen. I mean, that would make make the, the cooking me happy, you know. I love cooking. <laughs> I might even set up a laptop and do a cooking stream. It's got a bath and shower. So that's good. 
foyer for the post office, so I'd have to go downstairs and get my post every day. So that'd give me a reason to move. Uh, pet friendly. And it is an apartment. Points of interest and things like that. message them on it, on it it looks like it doesn't look too bad so if I get a response yeah if I don't I don't worry about it it's all good so there we go there's that so one place fell apart this one's a one bedroom though um, but it's got a decent sized kitchen so I'm happy about that just means that my uh, office will still have to be in my bedroom sadly uh, so no privacy from the computers oh well shucks but yeah I'm, i need to move out of here I'm, i need more space for work everything else in general so plus i need a dog i want a dog and i i qualify for a um therapy animal but my landlord does not approve animals out he won't even let me have a goldfish seriously he won't even let me have a goldfish So, so the landlord, my, my lease is up. My lease has been up for almost a year now. So, and I've been renting month to month to month to month to month. And so, I'm at the point where I just want to go. And with it being in town, it really wouldn't be that expensive for me to hire a van for the day. I'd literally be like a day tops. Get all my shit, put it in boxes, go. Done. And yeah, so I've also got to talk to Reading Council because they do have a movers thing. If you're moving from one residence, they've got a program to help you. So uh, I will talk to them about that. Um, so, and I've got my driver's permit. So technically, I'm not going to be going on the on the motor motor carriage. So as long as I have a licensed driver in the vehicle with me, well, what's the point? I just have him drive. I'll just have them drive. So yeah, I'll talk to Sebastian because he's got a driver's license. Or yeah, Vika, because he's got a driver's license. Like I said, I'll just rent it for the day. And I'll be done. Anyway, my coffee's almost done. In fact, I've only got like two sips left. That's one. But yeah, that's what I've been doing, guys. I've been um, busy, um, busy, 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 busy. Um, farting around doing some stuff. Oh, um, merch. Uh, yes, I understand that the merch site is... One of the merch sites is down. That's fine. The company's messaged me. They're, they're, they're working on getting it up as fast as they can. Um, but I am in talks with a graphics designer about redesigning, rebranding the logo and everything else. So these old... Uh, uh, first gen Deceptive Cobras shirts, once they're gone, they're gone. They won't be restocked. Um, and the new logo will be here, I think, in about two or three weeks. So, yeah. Uh, so it's a complete rebrand re overhaul, both YouTube, Kick, Rumble, um, uh, Twitch as well, as well as all the other socials, so Instagram, you know, things of that nature. Um, even the Discord channel is getting a complete overhaul. So, yeah, guys. So I look forward to seeing all of that. That'll be fun. Uh, also, I'm going to be opening up a um, uh, some private servers for Minecraft, Seven Days to Die, and a few other games. Uh, um, and what that's going to entail is um, if you are a subscriber to 
Twitch, uh, or, or locals or whatever. I'm, I'm going to be sorting out like a, 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 a monthly subscription page where you get benefits that covers across the whole entire brand, not just one thing. I'm also working on a new on the actual website where all of this is going to be like housed. Um, so what I want to do is when you subscribe, depending on what tier you're on, will depend on what what sub you know who gets priority thing that my mods will automatically be allowed to play on the servers for free um perks of being one of my mods um i'm not accepting any new mods right now at this time so please don't hit me up saying i want to be a mod i want to be a mod i want to be a mod it's not going to happen all five of my mod slots are full period so if you want to play on the seven days that i server all you got to do is throw me two, three bucks a month through Patreon or whatever, and you will be given up access. The password will change every month. Um, again, once you once I get a receipt of your payment, you will be emailed the password, the new password. Okay. Uh, so once a month, the password will be randomly generated. Uh, so I won't even know the password until 24 hours before the password goes live. So, like I said, um, so there's that. Uh, so. Again, it's just a way of drumming up a little bit of revenue, and it's only two, two, three bucks. I, I, I get it. Times are tough everywhere. It really is. Trust me. I know. I'm feeling it a lot myself. Times are tough everywhere, but um, like I said, guys, it's a way you guys can sponsor the content and get something out of it. So if you want to play Minecraft, there'll be a Minecraft server. If you want to play Seven Days to Die, there'll be a Seven Days to Die server. Um, if you want to play Battlefield, COD, whatever, there will be servers up and running. Um, like I said, if you just let me know on the Discord what games... Again, when you join the Discord, there's I just all I ask is that you post what games you play. That's it. So that other people, like-minded people, if, oh, this person plays Seven Days to Die, we can hang out and play Seven Days to Die together. Stuff like that. It's kind of community-based. kind of community based. Uh, Also, your time zone. So if you're in, say, Belarus, you just put your time zone in Belarus. If you're in England, you put, you know, GMC Zero. If you're in... Utah, you put neg 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 eight. If you're in uh, New York, you put neg five. You know, so you, we know that you're in New York, things of that nature. Or your time zone, just in general. We don't even know know what city you're in. We just need to know the time zone you're in. Um, so that way, it's just fair for everyone in general. Uh, also, I will be getting back into streaming schedules. Uh, again, the only reason why I'm not streaming currently right now is because of my schooling, and the fact that I've just not been well. I've been dealing with a sinus infection and a head cold and my, again, my new medication that I'm on has been fucking with me and I've been in some really bad dark places. Um, it's to, it's to be expected. It, it is to be expected again. Why? Because you are, what's the word? Um, trying to rebalance chemically your brain. If that makes sense. Hence, this is why I want a pet. Because it will give me something to focus on. Other than just myself. So there you go. Uh, anyway, guys. The coffee is done. See? Therefore, the video is done. So, I will see you all in the next Coffee Time with Cobra on Friday. And uh, if I don't see you in the live streams, take care. Have fun. Keep your shows fine. Keep your enemies dying. Cobra Commander is out. And I'll see you sexy bitches in the next one.